Good evening and thank you for joining me tonight for this new tutorial this time about papers and how to make antique vintage looking paper If you've been on this channel for a while you may have seen a lot of these edged sheets in my videos simply because I love the look they have this authentic look that is perfect for historical or fantasy world plays like the spell scribe world play I made a few months ago and of course they make lovely crinkly sounds so tonight I'm going to show you different kinds of papers and the method I use to get this old look. Of course, there are many ways of doing this. This is not the only one and if you're interested, you'll find plenty of videos on YouTube about that. What I'm going to show you is just my way. So, here we have all sorts of papers. This one is a regular sketching paper. It is very simple and basic. And this is the one I use the most because it's really not expensive and very easy to work with. Is this one. It's a little bit more elaborate and it's called elephant hide because the pattern, I'm not sure if you can see it, reminds of the elephant skin. This already has some kind of an antique look so it's a good base to work on. This already sounds different from the sketching paper. It's very resistant and great for writing. It's also a washable paper, which is quite interesting for what we want to do. And this one is great. This is plant-based parchment paper. Um, just let me know if it's how you would call it. I'm not sure. During the Middle Ages, the parchment paper was made from animal skin, especially sheep. But today we can find great alternatives to that look with vegetal papers. This is quite thick and a bit translucent, which is typical of the parchment look. It probably reminds you of the cooking parchment paper as well. It is quite similar. The sound is interesting and even more when it's aged. I'll show you that in a moment. And there are also some papers that don't really need to be aged because they're just perfect as they are. Here are some examples. This is cotton paper. And it's my absolute favorite. The edges, the color, the texture, everything with this paper already looks antique. This is the one I used for the spell scroll in the scribe roleplay.
beautiful garden girl This is another example This one is made from linen It's a bit darker so not always convenient if you want to write on it but still beautiful What do you think? French and English whispers, in which you will see most of these different kinds of papers. And finally, you can also use these. These are fake, meaning the texture is printed on it. And it's also printable, of course. I use them sometimes as well because there is not much to do with them just soaking them in the water sometimes to get a sound and a look a bit more interesting but it's quite basic printable paper is instant coffee and this one this is walnut stain and they are both 100% natural of course and non-toxic but what I like with walnut stain is that it has a very rich color and you don't need much to dye anything you want you can also use it with furniture or any wooden object but with that you will need to wear gloves or you will dye your hands as well at least for a few days I'm also going to use a paper distresser this is a quite simple tool made of seven small recessed blades and used to damage the paper edges it's a very simple tool but quite effective you could also use some scissor blades but what i like with the paper distresser is that it's much safer for your fingers and a few other optional items a brush anyone will do and a candle so let's start is the regular sketching paper and for this one I'm going to use walnut stain so I'm going to dilute it in the water I 
I would say there is approximately two cups of water and two tablespoons of walnut stain. So now I'm going to dip the paper sheet. Creases. This will give an even more, an even older look because the pigments will gather in the creases. And then you will just have to let it dry. In summer, I simply let it on the grass on a sunny day. But you can use a hairdryer, you can bake it in your oven, or simply let it dry on a tray. And this is what I'm going to do here. Next one, we are going to dye the elephant hide paper. I keep using the walnut stain, but this time, before I dip the paper, I'm going to use the paper distresser on the edges. This will really create a nice look, but I'm probably going to mute the sound because it's really not relaxing. So let's go. And there we are. It's a simple tip, but I really love the result. And now, let's dip it. And this time, I will not crumble the paper. And you can see how the damaged edges drink the pigments. So this will create a nice darker border. So now it's going to dry. Finally, we are 
going to die. The parchment paper. And first of all, I'm going to burn the edges to create just another kind of antique look. So, as I said, this is totally optional and don't do it if you don't feel comfortable with the idea of burning something, especially if you're inside your house. So, I'm going to roll it. And this is where you have to be careful. What's fun with this paper is that the flame creates some kind of blisters. It's quite interesting. And now the two other edges. And now we are going to use coffee and a brush. So now it's quite simple. The darker you want the paper, the more coffee you will use. just a bit of water so I'm going to use two spoons and some hot water just a little bit
this one is nice. Don't need gloves here. And here we go. So what's great with the brush is that you can add as many details as you want. It's like painting or drawing. lighter spots. There's nothing you can do wrong here, so just have fun. Be creative. Whatever you do, it will turn out great. And you can also let it dry and come back with even stronger coffee to add more stains or create a darker border. good and now we need to let it dry before doing the other side so I'm going to put that with the others and while these are drying I'm going to show you the final result with the sheets I prepared yesterday. These are exactly the same papers edged with the same techniques. So let's have a look. So the sketching paper is this one dyed with walnut stain. I made many because I really enjoy the sound. So you can see how the creases create an older look and how they drank the walnut stain. There are many veins. 
Next, um, there it is. This is the elephant hide paper with damaged edges. You can see it's dark. This is another one. Save. And you can see that the dyeing is quite plain. Not many details. Compared to this one. So this is the plant based parchment with burnt edges and it has much more details because I used a brush you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know in the comment section if you'd like to try one of these dyeing techniques and as always I wish you a very good day